The Fire King structure deck came out in December and I've been testing different versions of the deck for a while now. I don't have the budget for a sinful spoils package, so this week I'm just testing pure Fire Kings. I'll probably be posting a deck profile the same day as this video, so a link to that will be in the description. Also, make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'm trying to hit a thousand subs this year so your support would mean the world to me. With that intro out of the way, let's get into the matches. Round 1, I was up against Clayton on Cash Tira Speedroid. This deck recently got Terra Top back to 2, plus won a regional recently. He won the die roll and went first, and thanks to an Ash on Taka Tomborg, all he ended on was Rubber Band Shooter, Fenrir, and Clearwing Fast Dragon. He passes over to me, and I start by specialing Fenrir, normal summoning Arvada, and activating Sanctuary. I did it in this order to ensure that Sanctuary actually resolves, and even if he does Ash Island, I could Fenrir him on Resolution. Island gets activated, and I use its effect to destroy the Barong in my hand and add Pawn. On resolution, the Grunix in my hand activates, but Clayton chains Stroll to ensure I can't add for the rest of the turn. I let this resolve, and on resolution, I trigger my Fenrir and Grunix, while Clayton triggers his own Fenrir to banish my Grunix face down. If I want to OTK, I really can't let this resolve, so I chain Arvada to negate and destroy the Ponix in my hand. Grunix pops Kieran from deck, and when I trigger its effect, Clayton scoops. Game 2, Clayton goes first, and I don't have anything to stop him, so he goes full combo. In addition to this, his Piper excavates and adds Solemn Judgment. So his full end board ends up being Cash Tira Unicorn, Barone de Flor, Raise Velger to shuffle back a monster in my grave, and Cash Tira Birth, plus the judgment he excavated. He passes to me, and I start off by special summoning Fenrir, which he judgments. This puts him at a cool 4,000 life points, and I realize a line to game. I activate Super Poly, which, by the way, Konami, just, just please ban this card for the love of God. It's it's so stupid. Almost every deck right now can play it, and like two to three targets for it. Anyways, I use this Barone and Unicorn to make Mud Dragon which he ghost mourners on summon. I overlay it for Typhon and use Typhon to bounce back Raze Velger, and thanks to the judgment putting him at 4,000, I'm able to swing in for game. Typhon is another card that, in my opinion, probably should not have been printed. And I don't know if you guys could tell, but I bricked that game. It's actually really stupid that I was able to take it. Good games nonetheless to Clayton. Round 2, I'm up against Michael West, who is on ABC Therion as usual. I win the die roll and go first, but my hand is Ash, 2 Ghost Spell, Tactics, and Fire Recovery. I pass to him and he activates Union Hanger, which I feel obligated to Ash, but he had a piece in hand anyway. He tactics to look at my hand and shuffles away a Ghost Spell, and from here he just goes full combo and OTKs me. Game 2, I have the bare minimum combo, but at the very least it's playable. I end on Ponix, Garunix, Sanctuary, and Didi Crow in hand, along with Barong, able to search me Kirin in the standby. At least, it would be able to if it didn't get called by it. And to make matters worse, he follows it up by super polling my board away. What a great format. From here, he repeats last game and just goes full combo and OTKs me. Good games to Michael and at the risk of sounding like a broken record, Konami, please hit super poly. Round 3, I'm up against Miller on Umi Control. I win the die roll and go first, setting up the one card Ponix combo, meaning I have Kieran and Ponix in hand alongside Sanctuary to exceed summon. Miller starts off with Prosperity, excavating 3 and grabbing Murley. I forgot to mention, but he's trying to splash in some tier limit cards because he thought it would be fun. Miller activates tier limits Cash Tira, banishing Murley and summoning itself. And when he activates the effect, he mills 3 from my deck. This ends up mattering because he milled Arvada, so I can bring it back later off my Kieran effect if I want to. He then normals out electric jellyfish, sets 2 and passes. I draw for turn and super poly off his monsters for mud dragon of the swamp. I misplay pretty hard here and I don't use mud dragon's effects, but when I activate Kieran he scoops. Game 2 Miller goes first and sets up a board of Kaleido heart and 2 back row. Luckily for me I drew into lightning storm and destroyed his imperm and ice barrier. On resolution he uses ice barrier to send a level 5 or higher water monster from deck to grave and add back a water, but I ash it. From here I can start my basic combo, but there's a part where I screw up. You see, when I summon Garunix and pop Kieran, I didn't know that Kieran didn't have to destroy a card when I use its second effect. I thought the pop was mandatory. This is not the case. So when I special back Barong, I pop Kaleido Heart, giving Miller the opportunity to shuffle back my Garunix. This leaves me just Barong on field and no ways to extend, so I pass. Miller draws and activates C Stealth Attack, which when he goes to battle allows him to reborn a water in his grave. That water being Rhino Heart, which triggers its effect to send Tear Cash. Luckily for me, it doesn't mill anything irrelevant. His Kaleido Heart beats into my Barong and passes, with C Stealth Attack destroying his Rhino 
final heart at the end of battle phase. In my standby, Bronx searches me Kirin, and from here it's practically over. I normal Arvada and use Island to destroy Kirin to add Garunix. This lets me activate my Kirin and Garunix's effect, and when I destroy Kaleido with Kirin, I can negate its effect, meaning it won't come back. I go to battle, and Miller uses C stealth attack to bring back Tear Cash, but for the second time in a row, it mills nothing relevant. I have threatened lethal on my next turn, and when I pass back to Miller, he scoops. Good games to Miller. It was a short locals because we only had seven people, so that was actually the last round. I ended up getting third place and pulling a runic fountain, but overall, I really enjoyed this list. Let me know what you guys thought of today's video in the comments below. Also, if you want to support the channel, you can now become a channel member. I currently have two emotes available, and I'd love to hear what you guys want for other emotes. But with that, my name is Gokuzemi, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!